Hi. I just thought I'd take a moment today to talk a little bit about this channel and and help recenter what it is that we're we're really trying to do uh, as we talk about early retirement or retirement as a whole. Um, I what one of the one of the catalysts that led me to starting this YouTube channel is when I started thinking about the idea of retirement. I looked around the internet. I went to YouTube. And when I put in early retirement and I started looking at retirement, I, I had a couple of cha- types of channels that came up. There were people that were sharing, uh, you know, people that are in their 60s and 70s that were sharing their retirement experience. Um, there were some groups of people that were, you know, on the younger side that were uh, doing YouTube full time. And, you know, they would consider themselves uh, retired. And there were a bunch of financial advisors on there that were talking about, I think, theoretically or or financially, the idea of early retirement. And all of this information was incredibly important information. But the thing that I realized was that nobody looked like me. And so the idea was trying to provide info that's accessible in a way to, to all groups. And so I, I want to talk a little bit about that. But before I do that, I just ask that you take a moment to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button so um, we can continue to grow the channel, catch as many people and reach out to as many people as possible and um, help people understand and realize their dream of retirement, whether it's real uh, early retirement or, or it's or not, um, I, there's a lot of a lot of good information, and so if it resonates, please. And if there's something else that you'd like to talk about, send me a note in the comments. I certainly um, will respond to the comments. I try to respond to them all in a timely fashion, and that'll help drive some of the content, some of the things that we talk about uh, on the channel going forward. So, with that with that being said, let's get into it. So, as I was saying earlier. There's a lot of people that uh, don't have access. Uh, you know, the, when you when you look at wealth in America and you look at money in America, um, there's a lot of people that didn't ha- really have access to uh, to money. And I think this is the first generation, my generation, and maybe the generation right before, where there was really the opportunity to broadly access the opportunity to obtain wealth. And when I say wealth, I don't mean incredible riches, but I mean just making good money, um, you know, with some of the uh, civil rights legislation and and things like that. And and I certainly, I will tell you, I certainly didn't come for money. In fact, I was uh, talking to my mother a couple of days ago, and we were talking about matinee movie theaters and, and how matinees are important because it was a way to save money, you know, back in the day. And when you don't have, when you, when you come from an environment where there's not a lot of money, um, you don't talk about it. And if you don't talk about it, you don't learn about it. And then when you learn, when you don't learn about it, then all of this stuff becomes foreign to you. And it, it creates a fear. It, it, it creates a fear. You don't want to talk about it. And so, um, I was fortunate because when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school and I don't know how this happened. I think it was some type of uh, Fisher Price thing or something, but my mother taught me how to write checks when I was in elementary school. Now I didn't have any money to cash those checks. So I was, you know, as they say, I was writing checks that I couldn't cash, but uh, she taught me how to write a check. Um, and then when I, I got into high, I think it was high school, uh, I was working at, a, at an amusement park and, um, I was broke. I I mean, we're all broke when we're in high school, but I was broke. And I went to my mom and I said, Hey mom, I'm broke. And I I can't do X, Y, and Z. And she says, well, let's sit down and and show me your budget. And so it was, so we went through, what are you spending on food? What are you spending on this? What are you spending on that? And the next thing you know, it turned out I had a hundred dollars left at the end of the month. So a hundred dollars a month when you're 17 years old, I was rich. I was uh, I wasn't popping bottles, but you know, I, I felt pretty good about myself. But 
I was fortunate enough to have gotten some of that information. And then as my, as I got older and then my mom, my mother started working, uh, she started making certain types of financial moves with, um, you know, she had a financial planner before she retired and all these different types of things. And my father was kind of following her lead on, on that. And so I thought everybody was, had the same experience. And the reality is, is that's just not the case. And, and that represents, I was talking to somebody else today and they said, you know, you represent about the 1% of people that are having those conversations. And, and they were telling me that they don't, they never had those types of conversations. Um, and so it, it really tends to, to, to create this vacuum of, of information. And, and, and then when I was in college, um, you know, something happened where I have a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine that um, is really into self-help and motivation. And every year he would give me a book. So one year he gave me the, um, the seven habits of highly effective people. And that's what helped me develop my personal mission statement of uplifting the human condition in any way that I can. And then he gave me the book, The uh, Nine Steps of Financial Freedom. And it by Susie Orman, which helped me understand kind of how the savings things worked. And and again, none of this is common because you don't friends aren't giving friends books when they're in college. Um, and so you know, with that background, I was able to make really good decisions. But as I as I matured and, and just over time, thinking about the decisions that I made and and my approach to different things. Um, you just start, I started to realize, and I realized a long time ago, way before I even started, uh, thought about retiring, <clears throat> that a lot of people, uh, just aren't educated on this topic. And it's, it's, uh, and it, it really create, puts them at a disadvantage because then their money becomes about the material things as opposed to the long-term, um, things. And, and like I mentioned, when, when you look at, at least when I went to, um, YouTube to, to research this, I didn't see a lot of people that look like me. So, you know, imagine being somebody that wants to do something that's not common. And then when you go to research it, there's other people don't look like you. So then you start to think, well, maybe it's just not for me. And so I, I really start on this crusade just to say that, you know, all people should have access to this information. Um, and, and that information is going to be, some of it's going to be information that I have and that I'm an expert in. Some of the information isn't. Um, I'm an expert in my path and how I got there and the kind of questions that I asked. And I know how to find certain types of resources and I know how to ask. I know certain questions to ask. But I have, I, I, I could provide, I'm, I'm able to provide some answers and, and, you know, point you in the direction of some of the resources and insights that um, that helped me get to where I am. Because even though I've, I had the opportunity to, um, to retire early, there's people that are in their 60s that are still trying to figure out, you know, when can I retire? Am I going to have to work for the rest of my life and those types of things that could benefit from a little bit of, of understanding. But the sooner we reach people, the better. And the goal is, is really to build some, to, to build some financial literacy. In fact, one of the, the things that I was working on at the organization I was at before I retired was trying to build the financial literacy of the organization. And I think we were incredibly successful um, with that. Um, so uh, my goal is, is to, de to demystify the concept of, of retirement for everybody in an accessible way and, and help people feel comfortable with just the idea of it. So they're not, they're, there's not an apprehension to just asking the questions and, and, and the fear of asking questions. Because if nothing else, you can ask me the questions, I could research it for you and get it back to you. And what's gonna drive our content and our discussions are gonna be your questions and your comments. So I, I encourage you to put your comments in the, in the comment section ask questions, no questions or, or bad questions. And my goal is never to embarrass anybody, but just to give people the answers in a way that, that you can understand. <clears throat> and that makes sense to you. So if you, if you like the channel and you're, you're interested in the content, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button. 
and I look forward to having some future dialogue with you. So on that note, have a good rest of your day.